Good evening, friends. Tonight we're going to read, If You Give a Pig a Pancake. So we have our title page. If You Give a Pig a Pancake by Laura Neumerhoff, which that's who wrote our story. And the illustrator is Felicia Bond. And our illustrator drew our pictures. If you give a pig a pancake... She'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky, so she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask you for some music. You'll play her, you'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Silly pig. And then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. Look at all those envelopes. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails when the treehouse is finished. She'll want to decorate it. She'll ask you for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. Silly pig, pancakes aren't for pigs. 